Today's cardinal lesson is about Medicare and preventing and correcting mistakes and penalties that folks uh, might be faced. First thing we're going to talk about in the first section is really how Medicare is broken down, just some of the basics. So we got Part A of Medicare, and Part A covers your hospital bill. Part B of Medicare, which is separate and distinct, it covers everything that's not hospital, your doctor and outpatient. Part C of Medicare is your Medicare Advantage plans, <clears throat> where you're actually getting your Medicare Part A and B from a private Medicare insurance company. And then Part D is your prescription drugs. So if we had to look at these places and say, where do the penalties come and where do the mistakes happen? It's in signing up for Part B and it's in signing up for Part D. Now, the next section that we're gonna speak about is really the choice that you need to make when you're first signing up for Medicare. <clears throat> and that choice has to deal with uh, whether you go on the original Medicare route, which is getting your Medicare from just directly the government, or if you're gonna receive your Medicare through a Medicare Advantage plan from a private insurance company. It's two clear routes that are separate from each other. And a lot of folks have ended up going one or two of these routes, not really based upon their needs, just it's how they ran in and first started with Medicare, either the first person that called on them or the last person. Now, this is pretty much the same across the country because Medicare is federal. The insurance is run by the states. So we go through this first section here, original Medicare, Part A and Part B, you gotta pay for Part B. You gotta pay a monthly cost, it's around 140 bucks a month. Um, then you need to get signed up for a separate and distinct Part D drug plan. And you're gonna be able to choose that plan according to just your needs and the drugs you're taking. You know, when you get over on this part, Part D, when it's part of a Medicare Advantage plan, you just sort of get whatever they assign to you. So that would be an advantage over here by getting original Medicare and you're able to choose your Part D plan and then you gotta pay for it. Um, and then you would also need a Medicare supplement and then you would of course need to review it annually. Over on the Medicare Advantage route, a lot of folks just end up buying from the one Medicare Advantage plan that they talk to. Uh, I'm gonna recommend that you look at a few of these things. And then your Part D plan just sort of comes with that. And uh, of course, we want you to review this annually as well. Okay, your annual election period is from October 15th to December 7th. And this only applies to this Medicare Advantage and to the Part D. So in other words, a lot of folks are mistaken and they think that this is the only time that you can make any changes with your Medicare, and that's just not correct. This is this narrow window that you can make changes in your Medicare Advantage and your drug plans. The supplements, you can change those 365 days a year, and it's during this period of time that you're gonna make your selections for the upcoming year for Medicare Advantage. And something I wanna point out with Medicare Advantage plans is they don't travel well because of their network. So in other words, when you're using them and trying to use them in other parts of the country, um, and their networks can be cumbersome, especially if you get something seriously wrong with you and you wanna go see a specialist or go to a research hospital. So this section relates over here to the original Medicare route and specifically to the Medicare supplement. The Medicare itself, your Part A and your Part B, is going to cover about 80% of your expenses. And that really leaves you, if you didn't have a supplement, with about 20%. Now, the supplements come where they're all the same from every company. So the government has dictated these are the particular benefits you can offer. We pretty much limit our choices to the F plan, the G plan, and the N plan. The F plan is going to be your most popular and it's going to have the most benefits. Your G plan is going to be the best value where you're going to get very high benefits for the best price. And your N plan is really going to be your price performer. You're going to cut back a little bit on benefits. It's important to note that this coverage is exactly the same. So it's very important that from year to year to year, 
or annually that you check this stuff out. And you can do that at cardinalguide.com slash Medicare. You can go there and you can actually run prices for your area for all the various plans and see them from the various companies. I wrote a couple of books about this. They've done real well on Amazon. You can get them there, The Complete Cardinal Guide to Planning for and Living in Retirement, the original guide which tells stories of real clients, and the workbook edition, it covers and really gives specific examples for people in a lot more detail, okay? And you can get these books, like I said, at Amazon, or you can go to cardinalguide.com. You can get all the information, um, downloading the chapters from the books. You can actually get the chapters just by downloading them at this site.